Well, Brad, the Warriors knew they'd have their hands full with the defending champs strolling into town. And before you can even take a breath, they're up 5 nothing. Out of the game goes Bold, into the game comes Penny, and that really sparked the Warriors. Yeah, it really did. The defense in front of them, I think, too, their confidence stepped up because they know they had to, but Eric Penny made some phenomenal saves to start this game, really kept his team in it, makes 32 saves overall, and it gives the Warriors a lot of confidence to know that if Aaron Bold gets chased again, they can have confidence in, in, in number 61, Eric Penny, to come in and shut the door like he did tonight. He really kept his team in it, but uh, the Saskatchewan rush is coming alive late in this game to pull away. And for Saskatchewan, coming into the game, you knew you had to keep an eye on Ben McIntosh. You called him one of the best finishers in the game, and boy, did he prove you right scoring five tonight against Vancouver. Yeah, he was lights out, scoring from the outside, scoring from the inside. I mentioned how strong he is on the ball. When he drops the shoulder like that, heads towards the net, really tough to shake Ben McIntosh off, off his trajectory. He's just good at so many things. He's got that outside shot. He can shoot through screens. He's great off the ball. And then the beautiful goal that he scored late in this game, too, we're going to see in a second here. Is he had the empty netter but man oh man just highlight real stuff from Ben McIntosh and, and and showing why he's probably the best finisher in the game for my money right now and coming into the game the Warriors wanted to get Mitch Jones going he was held off the score sheet in the goal department last weekend against Georgia and boy he came to play today yeah they can feel good about that a three three goal night for Mitch Jones after being blanked a week ago as you mentioned like he's been hot and cold either he has a monster night or he has a quiet night tonight was a monster night for Mitch Jones that was a wicked power play snipe from the outside, his second goal was phenomenal. He had a nice roll to the cage, airborne on the doorstep as he floats this one in top shelf. And his third one of the night, too, equally as pretty as Logan Schuss did the dirty work tying up a couple of defenders. And then Mitch Jones coming around the screen to beat his man on the top. And, you know, this was probably the prettiest one of them all. It's some outside snipage floats that one top shelf for Mitch Jones. So yes, 16 was going. Logan Schuss and Dan Lomas were doing some dirty work to get him open. But unfortunately for the Vancouver Warriors, only three of their six offensive players find the back of the net tonight. They're one for four on the power play. The rush were three for three. And I think that was the biggest difference maker. And look at the game summary. All you got to see on the left side there, uh, Saskatchewan, their big gun stepped up, combining for 15 points as McIntosh and Matthews. And for Vancouver, McBride and Jones, the standouts. Yeah, not even listed there is Robert Church. You had five or six helpers himself for the Saskatchewan rush without a goal. So, yeah, their offense was well-rounded, and the Vancouver's was not. As much as McBride and, and Jones did damage, the positives for the Vancouver Warriors is they got three goals out of transition tonight, which is a very good thing to see, something they can take into next weekend's game against the San Diego Seals. Well, they gave the champs a scare but the rush once again knocking aside another western division foe the warriors fall to one and four they're back at it next saturday as they welcome the san diego seals